It's been over a year now since we've had the house. Can I know. you believe it? No. I mean, yes and no. Time definitely flew. But I'm excited. I mean, I'm glad we've been here for a year. I still don't feel quite settled. I mean, I do and I don't. Like, there's so much. Like, we still have yet to put something over our bed. We've had like eight different ideas mm -hmm. executed on none of them yet. And so the ninth idea, maybe that'll be the one. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. But hey, a year. We Woo! did it. Yay. And we're ready to move. We're moving out. <laughs> We're, like, we're tired of this place. Let's get out of here. No, no. We no. actually keep telling ourselves we put so much work into this house that we have to at least own it for a certain amount of time. With where our lives are going and we're hoping for it to go, we're going to keep this house, but we're hoping to move, live different places all over the U.S. Traveling is important to us. Being mm -hmm. in different places is important to us. Being somewhere warm in the winter is important to us, yeah. so we might be one of, what do they call them, the snowbirds or whatever? Mm -hmm. The people that just flock down to the south in the winter, or west, just warmth. Yeah. If it's warmth, I'm happy, I don't care where it is. I was scared about like moving out and like doing everything yeah. on our own. In hindsight, I was right to be scared because it was a lot more responsibility mm -hmm. than I had ever had. It just took like some pulling up the bootstraps and getting to it, and uh, also a lot of learning and Patience from Charisma. I appreciate your patience. You too. We both had to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're adults now. Yeah. I think. We're getting there. We're yeah. close. We're, We're not quite close. there yet. We're close. <laughs> no, but we should talk about like the wildest things that have happened so far living here. Because it's it's been an adventure. We've experienced mm -hmm. some highs and lows like any other homeowner, but we've experienced things like, why us? You want to talk about the first thing that happened? The, when we first the, walked into the house, the first thing we experienced, and we still purchased this house for whatever reason. We walked in and were, were greeted by a wall of cat smell. It was bad, y'all. Like, it was really bad. Mm -hmm. It was almost a deal breaker. And we walked around the house and we're like, you know what? This, this does have potential. Very dusty and smelly, so that's why I'm wearing this and my glasses. And then we talked to some people, some contractors, and we we're like, can we get rid of this smell? Yes. And they, they were like, yeah, it, it'll be hard. We'll have to do like, you know, we'll have to rip up all the carpets, which we're going to do that anyway. Mm -hmm. So whatever. And we had to like put some primer on the floorboard underneath. Yeah. And um, we had this ozone thing, I think it was, that Steve uh -huh. brought. And it cleanses the air. And it's a super expensive piece of equip equipment. And he so happened to have it because Steve has everything. And he brought that over and we left it in here for about a week in the smell was gone. Made a huge difference. I don't yeah. know how it works, but it worked. Kelly Mama was so concerned because I just did not look happy. We were walking around she the house. And, I could see it too. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, okay. And we knew we had to act fast if we wanted it. So the yeah. pressure was on, mm -hmm. but we hadn't made the final decision yet. Okay, so we had just maybe seen it for the first time and yeah. I just wasn't that happy. And it was so hard to get an idea of the house's potential when there was someone else living there. So we ha there were renters here, mm -hmm. plus this ca six cats. So it was really hard to get a vibe and like see how I felt about it. So I was pretty like eh about it. Mm -hmm. But my instincts told me that it's gonna work out, it's gonna look beautiful, and now I can be happy, I love our house. It had everything we wanted. So if we could just put aside the aesthetics, yeah. put aside the smell, we knew we could do something special here. Put aside so, the cockroaches, because we place, had a lot of that. This place was infested. It was bad. Got some bug bombs, and yesterday we bombed the house. Yes. So now there are insect carcasses all over the place. I wanna share the joy of cleaning out linoleum where there's roaches and urine. It's my thing. It looks good. That was thing one. That was like the yeah. first step that we were just like, you know what? We want a house. We want to move out. We're getting this mm -hmm. pre-market, which was very hard when COVID started. Like houses were selling. It was so competitive. And it still is. Every day we kind of talk about how we see ourselves here longer and longer, especially mm -hmm. with the more we do to it, the more projects we've done. Like we just got a patio put in. Yes. We're super, super excited about that. That's so beautiful. here are some nice drone shots before and after mm -hmm. of the backyard, courtesy of Quint Sidner. Good job, Quint, <laughs> with the, the drone flying.
it's been really cool watching the process. They poured all the concrete yesterday and then they stamped it yesterday and we got to watch them do the whole thing, which was awesome. We got the green light this morning to roll on it, which is perfect because I gotta go get breakfast. But this is gonna be the first time rolling on the ramp and I'm just, I love it. Because the little patio thing we had before was so bumpy and this should be nice and smooth. So here it is. And they cut some right here to make the grade a lot better and smoother for Coley Cole. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Oh, look at it. Uh, here we go. Should I do it? Should I do go it? Go nice and slow. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. It's like butter, baby. Is it? Oh, and it, it like goes up to my ramp right there. Yeah. Oh. It feels so good. It feels so good. Look at that. No. Are you happy, love? Yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It is awesome. Oh, I left my marks. Did you? Yeah. His little wheel marks. So now we just have to wait a couple more days for the stain or the seal the or seal. the seal. And then it'll be nice and shiny. Ooh. And then the patio furniture. Yeah. Are you ready for that? I'm excited. Chris had so much fun shopping for patio furniture. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday she was like, all right, I think we should put this one over here. And then maybe we'll have the couch over here and my little hammock thing over here. Oh, I can't wait for my little hammock thing. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. It's going to be beautiful. Ooh, look at that. So gorgeous. But look at that. It looks so awesome, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We've already had so many bonfires out there and mm -hmm. I just love having a hard surface so I can actually get into the backyard. I'm with Sophie when she's zooming around and I get to play with her and throw tennis balls. And I think off. she loves that. I love that you're able mm -hmm. to play with her because for a long time, Cole would stay on the deck while she was outside and he couldn't really interact with her or he would be right outside the gate. So it was just kind of, you know, different. And so yeah. I think she and Cole can really like play together, which is awesome. It's been awesome having that. And because we put that patio in, we're investing more and more in this house. I think we're going to be here for a Another while. Another five more years yeah. added on to it. Just keep tacking on. You want to tell them the story of what happened that one night? No, I think we should save that for last. I think save the second last. wildest okay. thing that happened mm -hmm. was that a cat had five kittens under our house. Oh yeah. Of all people why does like why one day steve goes under the house and finds five kittens and that was actually stressful to deal with that was a very stressful situation yeah because of course the cat took the kittens to the very opposite side of the crawl space our crawl space is literally a crawl space you have to crawl like at some point you're on your like you're like doing the army crawl yeah. under stuff and this was at the tail end of all our like big renovations mm -hmm. so here we were in the mindset of like all right we finally knocked all this stuff out we get to just relax and i think this was like the wake-up call of when you're a homeowner there's always something going on that took us like a couple weeks to handle right yeah it took us a couple of weeks to handle because we didn't know where the mom was so we had to put a camera out to track it mm -hmm. to see where the mom was because she was a feral cat and so she didn't want to be around us we had someone come over who worked at a shelter rescued all of the kittens for us and mm -hmm. then we put out um a trap for the mama and we got her with some bait and we took them all to the shelter and they were all adopted um from what we know steve discovered six little baby kittens wow what are we gonna do with baby kittens it's a free gift with purchase a free gift with six kittens yeah congratulations homeowners <laughs> oh. you had quintuplets we had quintuplets, we have quintuplets. <laughs> that is so cute look at the baby i want to so see one cute. This one's got one. Too. let go little baby let go oh, <laughs> oh my goodness so oh, cute. Wait. I said puppy. Oh, hey, hey buddy. Kitty. Hey, little oh, baby. Oh my gosh, what a... Oh, I hear you. So that was our second adventure. Mm -hmm. You tell me about this one. This one the, was wild, a wild okay. night. So this was also pretty early on, but we had pretty much wrapped up everything. It and was a, a thunderstorm, so we were enjoying the like nice rain. And then out of nowhere, there's a, a boom. And when I say boom, like we thought like a bomb went off. Yeah. I'm not even kidding. No, we jumped so hard. Like both of us were like, what was that? Yeah. Like freaked out. Like we looked out the window, but couldn't really see anything going on. 
And so we were just like, all right, whatever, went back to watching TV. Mm -hmm. And then not long after that, we see red and blue lights mm -hmm. through the window. And we're like, what the heck? And so Charisma goes, opens the curtains. A lightning strike had hit a tree, which by the way, blew up most of the tree mm -hmm. and traveled down the tree into the ground where it hit the water main and blew up the water main <laughs> so that it was shooting a geyser like 20, 30 feet into the air yeah. across the street into our next door neighbor's yard. And this is one house down. Like if the lightning strike had come one house over, it would have been all in our yard, but it was one house down, flooded her yard. I mean, and water was rushing down the street. Like our street kind of goes downhill. So all the water was going down and it was just a mess down there. It was a mess. So here, enjoy part of this never before seen video <laughs> that we created but never posted uh, <laughs> about this incident. <laughs> We heard a lightning strike right across the road from us while we were watching TV and it scared the crap out of us. And we were like, oh my gosh, I think that might have struck right across the street. And sure enough, yeah. And not only was it right across the street, but it hit a water line, the main. So we have no water and our neighbor's yard is being destroyed. This is not good. So clearly that was a wild night. My hair was unruly. I mean, I just, it was the middle of the night. We weren't yeah. expecting this. I was outside, it was humid. Anyways, it was just wild. Our neighbors were really like appalled. Like no one knew this, it was just wild. It turned into a bit of like a, a circus out there. Everybody was out watching, the cops were standing there. Mm -hmm. Cops couldn't do anything about this 20 foot geyser. We just had to wait and, until I think like the county had to shut off the water. And fortunately, that was below us, I guess. So we, well, no, still, we, we still- No, we didn't. We didn't have water. We lost water? Yes. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, so we totally lost water too. Uh -huh. But it was And then wild. they destroyed our mailbox. Yes, we forgot about that. In the middle of the night, someone backed up, like used our driveway, I guess, to try to like do a, a U-turn and backed up into our driveway or our mailbox. Look what we discovered. This is unreal. Our mailbox got destroyed. Yeah, so they came out the next day gave us a new mailbox, which is awesome because the one we had before was really crappy. We did need a new mailbox. So it was just a blessing in disguise. From Hanover Utilities, it says, your mailbox got hit last night. We will fix it. Call me. <laughs> Good. Man, the first few months living here was wild. And now it's a little more boring. Yeah, we need some more, something interesting. I mean, we the patio was <laughs> The patio was like something entertaining. You know, our goal is, you know, with this pandemic, hopefully things will get better and we want to start traveling again. Mm -hmm. And we have, you know, ideas of going to certain places for, you know, a few months at a time, possibly, mm -hmm. depending on where life takes us and some exciting things that we are doing slash Cole's doing. And so we're hoping that, <laughs> we're hoping that we end up all over the place and just, this is our house for now, but hopefully we live many other places because it's always been a goal of mine to live in a different state. Like I've mm -hmm. lived here my whole life. I don't want to live here until I die. I'm fine with retiring here. No, I'm not fine with retiring here either. I want to go somewhere else. <laughs> I want to go somewhere warm. I'm tired of the cold. Yeah, no retirement. We're going to be in the tropics or something. Yes. But I agree with you. I'm excited to do some traveling. And even mm -hmm. though this is our home, I'm starting to feel like this will always be our home, mm -hmm. you know? And at least, like, even if we move in our hearts, it'll always be our home. Hopefully, your two may bring little feet. Right into the house. Yeah. A little pitter-patter of some, you know, toddler feet slapping the floor. Well, not toddler. It'd be a baby, babe. Baby feet slapping the floor. Because <laughs> this is year two. Yeah. But no, we'll see what life brings us. Um, maybe we'll have more surprises here. Um, so far, we haven't had anything wild happen since the water break. It's been an adventure. It's It's been quite an adventure. We love the neighborhood. We love living here, but we're excited for the next chapter in our lives. And if that means we move in the next five years, I'm still keeping this house. I, I can't get rid of this house after it's everything we've done. We've done put too much into it. We really have. Blood, sweat, and tears. So to wrap it up, I think we should say something we learned in mm -hmm. our first year. I have learned that being a homeowner means you gotta do the little things. Mm -hmm. There are so many little things to keep up with all the time in the house mm -hmm. with, you know, just keeping things up, making sure everything's taken care of. There's so many little things. Mm -hmm. When you're growing up, 
mom and dad take care of all of those little things, you know, or mm-hmm. whoever your parental figures are. They just handle all that, and you don't really think about it. And then once they're not being handled, it becomes very clear, oh, my goodness, there's a lot more going on than I thought. Mm-hmm. And uh, if I don't do this stuff, it's not going to get done. So that was the the big lesson, big takeaway for my first year of home ownership. Yeah. What do you what about I, you? I think you felt that more, too, because you've never lived on your own, really. Yeah. Like, living at school is different, but, like, I've had my own apartment, so I kind of had an idea of, like, the financial aspect of it. I didn't really expect the whole yard, like, yard work. I don't know. I've learned patience, I think, like, how to be patient and... No, let me do something else. Um, mm-hmm. Well, one, I've learned how much I like mowing the lawn. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I enjoy it because it gives me something to just, like, do and relax. And, like, it's just so satisfying because as soon as you're done, it's instant satisfaction. Is that the right word? Gratification. Oh, it's instant gratification. It makes me happy being able to instantly be gratified by something. <laughs> but the other thing I learned, honestly, hiring a cleaning service is such a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> Such a game changer. We have one once a month and you know between the two of us it it can be a lot like dealing with a lot of things. Sometimes I get behind with like the big deep cleaning. Like right. cleaning the house every day like I can do that but the cleaning the ceiling fan, wiping down the windows like that's a lot of extra stuff. We were a little hesitant about getting it the first time because we we're like do we really want to pay to have maids come in mm-hmm. but we were like let's just give it a shot see if we like it. We love it. It also made us feel better when I was talking to my dad about it. And my dad said, y'all should uh, y'all should think about getting a maid service. And I was like, oh really? Because they're coming tomorrow. We already <laughs> scheduled that. And he looked at me, he said, it's the best money you'll ever spend. <laughs> I said, okay, all right. So this is a good thing. So it just gets really messy and I can't imagine what it's gonna be like with children. And so like having someone help us out once a month, like knowing when you need help is so important. They do a great job. Mm-hmm. We're definitely gonna keep that train rolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so those are our lessons. Mine is got to do little things, and yours is... Hire house cleaner. <laughs> hire house cleaner and enjoy mowing the lawn. And, yeah, and just enjoy the little moments. Like, just embrace living in your house and, like, mm-hmm. the fact that you have one. And I feel like we can easily take for granted what we have. And so I try to remember to stay grateful for everything. And yeah. Gratitude is so important. This is an awesome house. Mm-hmm. We lucked out. Yes. We're so happy here. Yeah, we're happy to have you all supporting us as well because we couldn't do it without you all. Yes, so thank Uh, you. So thank you very much. We appreciate every one of you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Yes, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And stay positive. positive. Also, Cole's birthday's coming up on May 1st. Just thought I'd give you a a warning and let you know. I'm turning 21. Right.